Hey, Ted, how can I help you? Good morning, Mrs. Hope. If you have a couple minutes, I wanted to ask a couple questions regarding my daughter, Lily. I think she may be gifted. Would you explain to me the eligibility requirements for the gifted program to me, as well as what I could be looking for? Of course. Um, if you believe Lily is gifted, uh, we should take the following steps. First step, what we're going to do is we need someone to nominate Lily. Um, that could either be you, your wife, um, me as a teacher, or someone close to Lily. Then um, what happens is in second grade, Lily will take a screening, all second graders do, and it's called the COGAT in Collier County. And that's gonna just see, they do it for every single student in second grade to see if they are gifted eligible. Um, if those scores do not qualify Lily, and we still believe that she is gifted and she, uh, what we could do is we could go through a checklist of gifted qualities. And what she needs to do is there's 25 characteristics in total and she needs to at least get 13 of the 25 characteristics. Some of those characteristics could be uh, demonstrating leadership, um, if she has leadership skills, if she is uh, self-motivated or really creative, you just find that her creativity sets her apart. Um, she's adaptable in certain situations is another uh, characteristic. Sometimes uh, humor can be a characteristic, humor that's above her peers, age group, um, or a flexible thinker. If we're seeing that Lily can um, think flexibly about certain situations uh, or that she thrives in these problem-solving scenarios, those are all good characteristics that we kind of look for with a uh, gifted student who's eligible for gifted program. After, if we are able to get those 13 characteristics or more for Lily, what her next step would be would then go and do the vision and the hearing test. And this is just to make sure she doesn't need glasses, you know, she's hearing everything. Because if she is gifted, we want to make sure we can get her uh, learning the best of her ability and reach all those goals. Um, and then our psychologist in our school will be happy to do his screenings and he'll do the rest of the psych, uh, psychiatric screenings and making sure that she uh, qualifies. And if all this comes together, then she will be designated gifted and we'll carry on through there and get her that extra uh, curricular learning that she really deserves. Um, and I'd be happy to provide all of these forms for you and answer questions through this entire process. It's pretty, uh, involved with the parents. Uh, we want to hear the parents' opinions and what you see at home as well as what we're seeing in school. So it's really great. This whole process works hand in hand with the parents and the school. Um, that's, those are great questions. Why don't we get started on the, uh, the characteristic checklist and see what we can do to help Lily. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. You're welcome. Thank you very much.